Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The LCM Mark 1A secretly took its first flight on 20th May 2022 and there was no footage or picture shared for the same except for the sweet box picture marking its celebration. However, LCM Mark 1A has now been spotted. Recently, Aviation Wall has shared a video on Twitter with a message chasing Tejas the raw sound from the cockpit. We cannot share the video due to copyright protection. However, would recommend you to watch it from Twitter. The link is in the description section. The noticeable point in the video was the LC Tejas, which was filmed, was having tail number LA5021. As we already know that Indian Air Force has allotted HL ATS Mark 1 numbered SP-25 that is series production 25 and it is having tail number LA-5021 for integrating the modifications required for Tejas Mark 1A. So the SP-25 or tail number LA-5021 will act as a test platform for the entire production line of Mark 1A version and will undergo certification tests over coming months. HL is expected to complete development trials of Mark 1A by the end of year 2023 and as per contract, HL is required to deliver the first three aircrafts in the year 2024 and 16 aircrafts annually for next five years. HL is confident of delivering the first LCTS Mark 1A by February 2024. Now another noticeable point in the video was the radar warning receiver on LCTHS. Now recently we have made a detailed video on radar warning receiver and advanced self-protection jammer being developed by DIDO for Su-30 MKI and LCTHS. These two electronic warfare components are the next generation weapons which are going to change the rules of aerial engagement towards Indian Air Force. LCTHS Mark 1A is going to feature 6 RWR around the aircraft providing it 360 degree coverage against hostile RF signal from missiles or fire control radar. The RWR can also transfer data to self-protection jammer to jam the incoming hostile RF signal. The video of LC Tejas Mark 1A flying with RWR hints that the aircraft development is at very advanced stage. The LC Tejas Mark 1A as we all know is going to be an upgraded version of the FOC configuration of Mark 1 with 80% of detail components being the same. The Mark 1A will have 43 improvements over Mark 1 version. At present, LCA is equipped with 344 systems, out of which 210 are indigenous and 134 are imported. However, in Mark 1A, the imported systems will also be reduced to about just 80. Many LRUs, that is line replaceable units, will be repositioned and new LRUs are to be included keeping in mind the maintainability and easiness of handling. Indian Air Force wants airframe panels that can be replaced without taking too much time and these will be supplied to Air Force with quick release fasteners. The major highlights of Mark 1A version is going to be its indigenous Uttam AAC radar and electronic warfare suite which includes jammer and the combined integrator and transporter CIT and IFF plus system, a digital map generator, indigenous beyond visual range missile Astra and MBDA's advanced short range missile ASRAM. The developmental trials of both Astra Mark 1 and SRAM is planned to be complete before the delivery of this Mark 1A. The carriage as well as the captive trials of both the missiles are complete and the next set of user and development trials is expected soon. Tejas has already been integrated with Israel's IWER and Python 5 missiles. The IWER missile is a long-range air-to-air missile having operational range of up to 100 km and a maximum speed of Mach 4 with two-way data link. The Python 5 is the newest member of Israel's Python family of short-range air-to-air missiles. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind.
will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.